Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? It's your boy Stu coming at you with another absolute banger here on the channel, man. And in today's video, I'm showing you the best absolute settings you need to use in Black Ops 6. If you guys like today's video, make sure you guys like the video. Comment down below what are your favorite settings that you use and are you enjoying Black Ops 6? With that being said, man, hey, I'm gonna show you all the secret sauce you need to use to be cracked in Black Ops 6. All right, chat, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead, YouTube. Let's talk about settings. What are the best settings you need in Black Ops 6 to run the lobby? I'm going to get you right now. As you see, I've been playing this game for hours and hours and hours. Actually, once you get done watching this video, I'm still live right now. You guys can go ahead and check me out live to check me playing Black Ops 6 live before the game even drops. This, I'm playing the game right now. I've been playing the game literally all day. Anyway, so I figured out the secret sauce for you. Figure out the secret settings. This is what you need to rock, man. First things first. This game has pay to win audio. I'm gonna say it again. This game has pay to win audio. You can spend twenty dollars, not twenty dollars a month, just one time flat fee of twenty dollars to have the best audio in Call of Duty history, man. All you have to do is go. Make sure you have an enhanced headphone mode on. You're gonna go to hit enhanced headphone mode configuration. You know, after free, after one month, it's twenty dollars. You pay that, you're good. But you get the first month free. They actually customize the audio to fit your ear specifically. So make sure if you want to go ahead and get the best audio possible for twenty dollars. Now, if you don't want to, they do have a free version of it. You just turn on the hands headphone mode, and boom, that's a free version. So make sure you have it. Even if you don't want to spend the money to get the best supreme supreme audio, turn on hands headphone mode. I promise you, it makes a huge difference it makes a huge difference i promise you all right after that make sure you have the truck mix on because that's what really amplifies the enhanced headphone mode on and then after that you're all good to go um audio after that is pretty self-explanatory no need to change any of that uh so let's get let's get down to the settings of the actual gameplay and what's going to actually make you crack at call of duty all right cool 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 so now we're now we are on graphics we're looking at the graphics to make your game look the best and also give you the most frames in Odd, man all right so you want to go display obviously i'm on pc so it doesn't change too much but for quality though you want to make sure your quality preset is on custom dynamic resolution all that good stuff 1080p yeah all that good stuff if you're on console this is not a, i'm on pc so it's gonna be a little bit different but even if you're on console you want to make sure you have some of the best uh settings you have the best looking game and also gives you the most frames per second right Text resolution low. Everything should be set to lower off. You know, the only thing that should be on is bullet impacts. The bullet impacts be on, so you can actually see the bullets. But besides that, everything else is low and off. Low and off. I'm actually gonna turn this to medium now. Uh, low off on demand texture streaming. I have that on optimized, so I can have more, you know, frames shit like that. But for the for the most part, besides these three things right here, everything else lower off. You don't need it. You don't need it. I promise you don't need it. Um, motion reduction preset. Make sure you have this turned off, so that way all the FOV and all the other good stuff, weapon motion blur, all of that is off. You don't need any of that, okay? You want your FOV up to 120, so you can see everything. Your weapon view up to wide, so you have a more wide angle of what's around you and your surroundings. And after that, everything else lease off, off. Like you don't. There's a lot of stuff that's very unnecessary about this game. You don't need it. You don't need it. And then you can benchmark this game to see what you need after that. But after. So now we're moving on to controller. Obviously, when it comes to controller, there's a lot of different things you can do that's really customized to the controller that you use. But I'm gonna give you a pretty good baseline of what I'm using. I think I'm a pretty decent player. I'm a very average player. I'm not the crack this of the crack. I'm not dropping 40s or 50s in Warzone or nothing like that. But I can occasionally pop off for a nice 20, maybe a 30 bomb. So I'm a pretty decent player. And so I use pretty average settings. So I think my settings is a pretty good baseline for people who are trying to get into the Warzone scene and uh, Call of Duty scene. So I use 8-8. Eight, eight. I'm not the most cracked. Most, and you'll see, even Warzone pros don't really go above 9-9, nine, nine, right? Um, simplify controls, turn it off. You don't need it. Just learn how to control your fingers like simple as that you know you don't need to you know have the game help you do that just turn it all you know turn all that off right controller vibration for dear god turn that turned off for dear god turn con controller vibration off you do not need it and the dead zones up to you but this this is what i use just for really snappy just for really snappy movement you know but uh, for the left trigger and the right trigger, this is gonna be default to like 13, 14. Take it down to zero so you got the snappiest thing. All right. Now moving on to aiming. 
which one are you gonna make go to advanced aiming settings make sure your aim response curve is set to dynamic i promise you that's gonna make your aim a lot better at those long range gunfights make the aim response curve set to dynamic and make sure your aim assist is on first and foremost if your aim assist is not on then that dynamic shit don't matter make sure your aim assist is actually turned on Movement, man. Okay, this game is all about movement. Black Ops 6 has brought movement back. And so now you want to make sure that you maximize that movement the best way possible. And these settings are going to do exactly that. For First and foremost, for the love of God, turn sprint assist on. Turn it on. And turn it on tactical sprint assist. Okay, that's how you're going to get tax sprint. You cannot tax sprint if you don't have tactical sprint assist on. Turn that on for dear God. And then there, turn your sprint assist delay, which I don't even know why this is a freaking feature. Call of Duty, why is this a feature? I don't understand it. It's, there shouldn't be a delay in the first place. So why, this, I shouldn't have to take this and turn it down. There shouldn't be a delay in the first place. Take it out. But anyway, now that I'm done ranting. Take your sprint assist delay all the way down to zero so you don't have any sprint assist delay. And then turn your sprint assist backwards off. If you don't have that off, sometimes you'll sprint backwards, you'll slide backwards, and then make you fall off the map. So, yeah, just turn that off. All right. Uh, corner slides. This is where you, this is where anytime you hit a corner, your gun will tilt a little bit to the left and you'll, you'll, you'll see the corner. I have that turned off. There's a way you can do it inside the game. But I have that turned off, so that way sometimes, you know, if you, if you don't have this turned off and you have it turned on, you'll hit a corner, you'll peek the corner, and then you'll get shot in the fucking forehead because you peeked the corner because the game said you had to peek the corner. Turn this off so you won't peek the corner in de deliberately. Um, slide dive behavior, have this on hybrid. Have this on hybrid. B up, BO6 movement is really good. For the people who've been playing on hybrid back in MW3, you're already ahead of the curve. You know exactly how to do, You and you should be cracked at this game because of that. Have this on hybrid, learn hybrid, learn how to control your fingers and you'll be good. I promise you, hybrid is the wave. You're gonna wanna use hybrid in BO6 and, 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 and in Warzone 4 when it comes out in literally a month. Warzone 4 is coming at November 14th, so you have this whole month to learn slide dive, hybrid movement, make sure you do it. Have your sprint restore on, uh, auto door peak, it's the same as corner slice, turn it off. Automatic airborne mantle. You can have it on partial. I have it on just to help me out with certain things, but you you know. Slide maintain sprint, have that on parachute auto deploy. That's for war zone. Have that on free fall. So that way you're not just, you know. And then advanced movement settings. You want to make sure that your sprinting door bash is turned on. And yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it for this. Combat, you want to make sure that uh, let me see. All this should, should pretty much transfer over from war zone. But what you should do what you need to do because this is it's not going to come on from warzone go to combat advanced settings make sure you have your interact reload behavior set to prioritize interact so that way you can switch you can reload when you want to reload and you don't have to worry about trying to have to hold reload and you'll just tap it you'll just tap reload so make sure you just have that on all right um that's that so now i'm going to give you that secret sauce go to your interface this is the this is this is the thing this is a little game changer that i just described i just found out in this clip right here this is, the, this is the gameplay right here. Tutorials turn that off. I don't need that on. Um, I'm trying to find it. Where's that? Okay, there it is. You want to go to gameplay HUD. Go to your gameplay HUD. Go to crosshairs. Turn your crosshairs on, obviously. And then go to crosshair color. All right. First of all, your center dot skill. Make sure, make sure your center dot is on and put it on largest. I'm going to show you why right now, actually. Let's go to the firing range and I'll show you. Which, by the way, this is the firing range. Pretty cool. Pretty cool firing range. But as you see... Okay, it's not showing up inside of... Uh, it's not showing up in the firing range. Okay. So, you have your crosshairs on. On, largest. And then your crosshair color, you have it set to whatever color you want. I have mine set to red. But you have your set to whatever. And the reason why you have it set to red, so that way you can work on your centering. Centering is what makes you one of the best Call of Duty players in the world by having really good centering. This crosshair placement being set to red, even when you run around across the map, it will give you a reminder to really monitor where your centering is on the on the map. So you're always, always, always in the right spot at the right time. Um, yeah. 
and then I turn I, I turn the occupancy down to like 85 just so it's not taking up too much of the screen and I can see through it if I need to see through it but with that man that is it that's it these are some of the settings that you need to be rocking to make you some of the sweatiest people on freaking war on freaking black ops 6 man if you guys like today's video make sure you guys like the video comment down below what are some secret settings that i might have missed that i can put into my next video and subscribe to the channel for more i'm actually live right now you can watch me playing black ops 6 right now so go ahead watch this video all the way to the end and then come on over to twitch.tv slash bixby gaming and come watch me play this live with that being said it's your boy Sue, and i'll catch you guys next video